Almost anything is apt to pull into a trailer camp nowadays, but the last thing you'd expect is a perambulating barber shop. If you won't come to the barber, the barber will come to you. And here's a customer. Johnny wants a haircut. Right this way, young man, to the Blue Sky Tonsorial Parlor. Here they are. But are they? Where's the shop? Well, leather my whiskers. Hmm, not a bad idea, this. No rent. Cuts down on the overhead. He seems to have just about everything in there but a pink police gazette. Tony never has to ask the customer if he wants it wet or dry. The weatherman decides that. This is the only barbershop in the world that issues rain checks. Johnny wants a haircut like his old man's with a hole in the middle. Well, it'll be a long time before he has to comb his hair with a towel. Now for a little tonic to give Johnny that real barbershop aroma. The lacquer finish serves Tony as a mirror. Take a look at yourself, Johnny. A lot of boys will see themselves as others see them. Be well, when a fellow's going out with the girls, he has to do it right. Another shekel goes into the cash register. And the Blue Sky Barbershop moves on, trailing more customers. <laughs> Don't let the cow catcher fool you. It's just an automobile with false whiskers. It's been working on the railroad for a long time on a short line in Tennessee, the Oneida and Western. It carries the mail and express and passengers, in fact, everything but freight, and it's right on time, too. It's a run of 38 miles from terminal to terminal through the heart of the beautiful Cumberland District. At every station along the way, people get on and off. The engineer is mighty proud of his iron horse. The Valvin head truck engine has 350,000 miles under its belt. The old iron horse can still take them there and bring them back. She can still make these mountain grades, even with loads of passengers and express. She still pulls like an army mule. Yes, sir, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. There goes the fire alarm. And the doggiest fireman in town is right on his toes. Chief is his name, and he's number one member of engine company number two, Oliphant, Pennsylvania. To the fire, boys, and drive like blazes. Chief is the idol of the lady pooches, and right now he's giving them all a ring. Hmm, must be a big fire. The chief hopes that it's the dog pound. Up with the ladder, boys. Oh, fireman, save my dolly. Careful there, chief, or you'll be just another hot dog. Ah, good going. You're a real fireman, chief. So the little girl gets back her dolly. Ah, nice doggy. And for bravery under fire and smoke, the boys are voting him a raise. Two bones a day and a snappy new lid. Here's a man who gets a real kick out of traffic jams. The bigger they are, the better he likes them. Introducing Lieutenant Murnane, communications officer of the New Jersey State Police. Right now, he's taking the air in a National Guard plane for a bird's eye view of the traffic tangle. The first step in a brand new plan for speeding up holiday driving. Lieutenant Murnane has direct two-way radio communication with a police ground station. Traffic on routes four and five is piling up. Route 28 is less crowded. And so, the ground station gets the news. It's flashed over the teletype and to police substations. Soon, traffic police in radio cars pick it up. And meanwhile, the motoring public, creeping along on congested highways, gets hourly police bulletins through radio broadcasts. We interrupt the program at this time to give you the following information. Advisable to avoid Victory Bridge due to heavy congestion. Northbound traffic advised to take Route S28 to New Brunswick traffic circle and then Route 25 into New York. It's a novel linking of police, plane, radio, and teletype. Another step forward in solving traffic problems. Well, it looks as if Mr. and Mrs. would get home in time for supper after all.
what's all the excitement about? Good seats are at a premium. Why, it's the International Gold Cup Regatta, the big racing event of the year, and speed boats are roaring to go places in events that always pack a thrill. The boats flash by, cutting the water at 80, 90 miles an hour, even taking to the air. Beauty, stamina, power. The machine gun roar of the overhead valve engines, hurtling through water and air like lubricated lightning. It's anybody's race with a thrill a minute. The Notre Dame scores a brilliant victory, a thrilling finish to a thrilling fight. Hey, what's this? It's all over. How'd you get in this race? 